suspense. A feeling of apprehension, of indecisiveness, of uncertainty about the unknown. A feeling we can share in stories of mystery, fantasy, and the supernatural, even the macabre. Every Tuesday night at this time on Springbok Radio. <laughs> That's the last pint of ale you'll drink as a single man, Neville. <laughs> Make the most of it. Grace will have you in hand from tomorrow onwards. Not my Grace. She's not like that, my Grace isn't. Oh, it's a fine institution, is marriage. And I should know. So you and me, we've been married coming on, what, 14 years now? And hardly a cross word we've had. What, 14 years, eh? <laughs> I'll never forget our honeymoon. Not in a month of Sundays. <laughs> never forget that, we won't. Not likely. Yeah, and if you're hinting at knowing where Grace and I are going, I'm not telling you. <laughs> Here, we're running dry. Next round's on me, lad. All right. Hey, same again, Bill, please. Right. Yeah, we've never been back there. We said we would, but we never have. You know how it is. Want your kids, the house and garden, oh, responsibilities. Yeah. No time to call your own. Where'd you go, then? We did a circular tour of the West Country. Devon, Dorset, Somerset, round Bath, all round there, you oh, know. Yeah. Glorious summer weather it was. Blazing June. Never a cloud in the sky. Yeah, it was a perfect honeymoon. Until that last day. Yeah? Well, the night, actually. Yeah, do you believe in hauntings? Hauntings? Oh, you mean ghosts? Spirits? Yeah. No, no, not really. Yeah, neither did I. Nor Sally. Not until that last night. Hardly seems real now, sitting here, remembering. I can still recall the feel of the hair standing up on the back of my hands. I was that petrified. Honest? Well, go on, tell me about it, Jack. Ah, no, you'd never believe it. So I was talking rubbish. No, no, I wouldn't. Carry on. There's nothing I like better than a good cracking thriller. Yeah, all right then. Well, as I say, I was that petrified at the time. Me, who's never been one to have any time for the supernatural. Well, I have now, I can tell you. Scenes believing. It was like this. We had a lovely wedding. All the trimmings, you know. Sally in white and me <laughs> in a stiff collar, carnation and all. Well, after the reception, we set off on our honeymoon. The honeymoon will never forget. Never. Well, after the reception, off we went on our honeymoon. Never been away from Arkham Regis in all their life at my Sally. Real adventure for her, it was. <laughs> I can remember the sparkle in her eyes, roses in her cheeks. We put up at the first place we came to. Didn't book, just took potluck wherever we went. Stopping where we fancied, you know, motoring all round, moving when we pleased. The weather was perfection. And our world was a wonderful one. Until that very last day. Don't like the look of that sky, Sally. Looks threatening, doesn't it? Can't grumble, though. Uh, what time is it? Oh, nearly half past six. I think we'd better give up the idea of making for Chidston tonight. Use more petrol than I thought. Oh, you must be tired of driving, Jack, dear. Two whole weeks of it now. Well, I like driving. And anyway, we'll be back home by midday tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> Just think, Sal. It's nearly over, love. Back to the old routine on Monday. Work as usual. Oh, I wish we had a car of our own. We will one day, Sally. We will. Oh, did you see that? Lightning over there across the moors. I couldn't very well miss it. It's building up for a cracking good storm, that's for sure. Here, get the map out, love. See where we are exactly. Right. The last place we passed was Burton Bradstock, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, we're heading for the Blackmore Forest. Here, there's a sign coming up. Look. Newton Abbas, half a mile. Right. <laughs> right, we'll stop there for the night. Bound to be an hotel of some sort or another. Well, I don't know. We've been motoring over an hour since that last signpost. We must have been going round in circles, I reckon, Jack. The light's nearly gone now, almost pitch dark. Thick cloud. The Blackmore Forest, mile after mile of it. And we haven't passed another living soul. They're probably keeping indoors with the storm threatening, I suppose. Yes. Hey, what's this? There you are, Sally, an old inn. The Boar's Head. 
Oh, look at the roof, all covered in, in lichen and the timbering. It's like something out of the Middle Ages. Yeah. Must we, Jack? I've got hardly any petrol left, love. Oh. Let's face it, it's the first place we've seen since we left Burton Bradstock over two hours ago. I'm not driving any further. And look at it, starting to rain cats and dogs. Oh, I suppose you're right. But I don't like the look of it. Sinister-looking place to me. <laughs> In the rain and at night, what can you expect? Now, come on. How would you get, my girl? We have to make a dash for it. It's coming down in torrents right. now. Oh, hurry up, Jack. Get the cases out of the back. Look, you go on in. I'll be with you in a minute. All right. Go on. <coughs> Anybody here? Anybody here? Both cases. Ooh. Jack, there's nobody about at all. Oh, it's chucking it down out there. Look at my suit. There's nobody here. Well, there must be. Have you tried a bell? On the desk there. Oh. Hope they've got a nice fire somewhere. Dry off a bit. Yesterday it was almost too hot and, and now it's cold. Oh, there's someone coming. Oh, good evening, sir, madam. Oh. Can I help you? Uh, we was wondering if you got a room you can give us for the night. The weather's playing up out there. Car's not so good in the wet, and I'm almost out of petrol. Got a bit lost, I'm afraid. Well, now, I'm sorry, sir. I'll have to disappoint you. Eh? Hey? Oh. Well, it's not often I have to turn anyone away, but we're full to overflowing. Jack. Folk from the county show. Farmers from all over, you know. Well, like you, sir, they're not wanting to travel far in this weather. Oh, no. Look, we don't mind a back room. Nothing special, just a bed, well, you I know. can't even offer you that, I'm afraid. Yeah, I can give you a meal, if that'd help, though. Well, isn't there anywhere else? We're the only place, ma'am. Next nearest place is 15 miles from here. I can phone if you like and find out if they've got a vacancy. Oh, I haven't the petrol. Look, surely you have something. Like I said, sir, the place is full up. County shows always like this. Best bit of trade we do all year. But what on earth are we going to do, Jack? Oh, I'd like to help you, really, I would, but... Uh... Look, I see, but... If you can't, you can't, I suppose. Oh, come on then, Sally. Yeah. I'll take the cases, love, don't you? Oh. oh. We'll have to sleep in the car. I take it we can use your car parking space. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly, sir, certainly. Thanks. Oh, not out there in this storm. The lightning's terrible. Come on, Sal. Just listen to that thunder. Open the door for me, will you say? Uh, look, hold on a minute. Uh... You can't go out in that. It's raining very heavily. And I, uh, I couldn't help but see you had one or two bits of confetti sticking on your suitcase, ma'am. Honeymoon couple, eh? <laughs> well, now you mention it, yes. Our last day. Home tomorrow. Yeah, well, look, I'll, uh, I'll go and have a word with the wife. Oh, thanks. Uh, please, just go into the lounge, take a seat. Nobody in there yet. Thank They're you. all still at dinner. You'll have the place to yourselves. Thanks a lot. You couldn't manage your hot cup of tea for the two of us, could you? Yes, yeah, certainly. Won't be long, sir. Well, I've had a word with my wife. We do have a room. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's, oh. Uh, it's not much, you understand. Over the old stables outside there, it's uh, a loft. Oh, yeah? We don't normally use it. Not for a long time, we haven't. Well, we're not fussy, are we, Sally? Oh, no, we're not fussy. As long as it's warm and dry. Yes. <laughs> Roof over our heads for the night. Yeah, right? well, that's all right, then. I'll tell Mrs. Martin to make up the bed. Uh, that's the name, uh, Martin. I'm the proprietor. Oh, yeah. How do you do? Ours is Phillips. Well, if you'd not mind signing the book, Mr. Phillips, uh, Mrs. Phillips, I'll get things fixed up for you. Oh, well, here we are, then. I'm sorry there's no light in here, but it... Only the old stables, you see. We never bothered. Oh, yeah. Thought we'd convert them into lock-up garages or something one day, but didn't get around to it. <laughs> I'll light you up to the loft with me torch. My wife's put you a candle and a box of matches by the side of your bed. It's a bit antiquated, but you'll find it a novelty, <laughs> I don't doubt. Don't tell me it's a four-poster. No, nah, not quite. But it is Victorian brass, knobs and all. <laughs> yeah, mind now you go, Mrs. Phillips. <laughs> These steps are old, a bit warped. They creak a bit in the damp, too. <laughs> if you hear anything in the night, it'll be the wood expanding. All these old places grown a bit of the seams, you know. I'll not hear a thing, I promise you. I'm half asleep already. <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> oh, 
Thanks. Uh, right. In you go, then. I'll fetch your cases up for you. No, no, that's all right. Oh, we can't have our guests falling down the loft ladder, can we? Oh, uh, oh you. look, there's your candle. See, on the floor, there, by the bed. Right. And the matches. I'm sorry there's no table. Short notice, you see. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, do let me light it. There you go, then. Mm. There. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hardly a hundred-watt lamp. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I suppose. It's romantic. Soft candle glow. Yeah, quite a spacious place, isn't it? Make a wonderful artist studio. There's a window in the eaves. Dormer window. Haven't done much to it, have they? Not only really explained. It's never used for custom. Nor anybody else. Look at the cobwebs up there in the corner of the rafters. The floor's not much better. Thick with dust. Yeah, well, beggars can't be choosers. We're lucky to... Oh, thanks, Mr. Martin. Uh, they'll be fine there, thanks. Oh. Right, there you are, then. And here's the key. Oh, thanks. I, uh, I should lock this door if I were you. Really? Well, hardly necessary, is it? I mean, uh, Well, if you don't mind, sir. You're quite away from the main buildings, and we do have the occasional vagrant snooping around. Oh, very well. Right, then. Good night, Mrs. Phillips. Good night, sir. Sleep well. Good night. Thanks. Good night. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> well, alone at last. <laughs> Let me have a look at you. Oh, I must look awful. Sit in the car all day and half the night. <laughs> My Sally by candlelight. <laughs> mm. 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 Beautiful as always. Oh, Jack. <laughs> well, Jack, the candles, yeah. the candles gone out. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. So it has. Never mind, what's it matter? Well, Jack, there, there's no draught. It, it's warm and cosy up here. Yeah, well, when old Martin closed the door downstairs. Draft came up the loft steps. Oh. <laughs> they get me my pyjamas out of the case, will you? Certainly, sir. And you'd better have your dressing gown. <laughs> Thanks, sir. <laughs> oh, dear, there's no way to put our clothes. Not even a chair. Yeah, give the dressing gown to me. I'll hang it on the back of the door. It's a peg, see? Right, yeah. <sighs> oh, it's a bit high even for me. Must have had a ten-foot stable hand and lodging up here <laughs> in the good old days. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I hope you can get it down when you want it. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a wet trip back to the inn. Got to cross the courtyard in weather like this. I'm sorry our last night's ended up like this, Sally. No mud cons and dust by the bushel. Jack, have, have you noticed how extraordinarily quiet it is up here? Hmm? Well, no. Listen. Yeah. Yeah, now you mention it, it's just quiet as a tomb. I do believe the rain stopped. And the thunder. A peaceful night, and yeah. we deserve it. Yeah. Being lost in the Blackmoor Forest by night's no fun. Well, I'm going to bed. Which side do you want? Uh, I'll take the side nearest the door. <laughs> Protect you from all comers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can have the candle on your side. Oh, very gallant. <laughs> oh, don't forget to lock the door, like he said. Yeah. Gee, look at the size of this key. Oh, do for the Tower of London. Huge, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, nothing could get through that door. Solid oak. And the lock's a good sturdy one. Ready? Yeah, just give me a chance to get in. Yeah, there we go. Right. Lights out. <laughs> <sighs> the clouds have dispersed. The moonlight's coming in through the window. Mm, romantic. Mm. Oh, we must remember to ask the manager for directions in the morning mm. and the nearest petrol station. <laughs> Nothing. 
nothing here at all. Are you sure? I tell you, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, that's strange. It, it was as plain as anything. What do you reckon it could have been? Well, you heard it. What do you think it was? Well, I was half asleep. The picking sound, wasn't it? Well, it's like something scraping at a, a mat, I'd say. But there's only bare boards. Well, it was as clear as a bell. I didn't imagine it. It woke me up. Well, it's gone now. I was lighting the candles, frightening it away. Mouse-like, isn't it? I suppose so. I'll get back to sleep, love. It's all right. It's nothing. I'll keep the candle on my side, shall I? Mm, all right. Oh, sorry I woke you. Mm, night, sir. Yeah, just look at that shaft of moonlight coming in through the window. Silver white. Rain stopped. Clear moonlight night. Mm. Mm. Oh. Jack, there it is again. Oh, that's a rat if ever I heard one. Oh. Look, I'm not going to share the room with that. That's for sure. And those blessed matches again. Oh, scratching's on your side. Over by the door. Oh, hurry I know up. it is. I'm... God, I've got ears. Well, can't you find the matches? Oh, plastic candlesticks falling oh, over. Jack. The deuce has it gone. Oh, hurry up, Jack. It... It's getting worse. Listen. Will you hold your tongue. Oh, listen, Jack. Listen. Grief, what on earth can it be? That's no rat. It's no good, Sally. I'll have to get out of bed and feel around. Oh, no, no, don't leave me. Don't get out. Don't be Jack, you never know. I wish I'd brought the torch with us from the car. Well, if you'd just been careful to keep the matches, then... Not even a bally table. They could have given us a chair, at least. Oh, here they are. No. Oh. Oh, there's, there's nothing here at all. Nothing. Well, light the candle before you burn your fingers. Yeah. I'll leave it burning all night. Can't go on like this. Pick, pick, pick. Well, that shaft of moonlight's getting brighter. In another half an hour, it'll cross the room at the rate it's going. Be brighter than the candle. There we are. That should do the job. Mice don't like light. You really think it was a mouse? More like a cat shoving in its claws. Mentioned it to old Martin in the morning. Not as it'll matter. He says they've stopped using the place now, so... I wonder why. I mean, to say, it could be nice up here. A bit of furniture and cleaning. Yeah, well, we'll try again. Good night, love. Night, Jack. Hey, you know, it's getting cold in here, have you noticed? Well, you've been out of bed. All the same, can't you feel it? All of a sudden, the air's like ice. Huh? Here, Sally, put your hand out. Feel it, go on. The temperature always falls at night. You're right, it's, it's like ice. And the silence. You could cut it with a knife. Oh, Jack, I don't like it. Let's go out to the car. It's, it's unnatural, that's what it is. Now, we're staying put. What am I, a man or a mouse? <laughs> There's nothing here that can hurt us. It turned a bit chilly, that's all. Got a country mouse chewing or something, and the door's stout and it's locked. No, Sally, we're staying put. Well, I hope we're not going to regret it. Oh, come on. It's still a long time until morning, Jack Phillips, and I'll serve you right if something happens. So there. Good night. Oh, Sally, don't be like that. Here, you've taken all the bed clothes. That's it all. It's freezing. Come on, Sal. Give us a bit of blankets. Well, here you are. Have it. You wouldn't care if I froze to oh, death. Have on. your old blankets. Have them all. I don't care. I wish we'd never come here. Oh, Sally. You know what's wrong with this place, don't you? You know why they never use it. Sally, sweetheart. I'll tell you why. Because it's haunted, that's why. You heard me. I tell you, this place is haunted. That's why it's turned so cold. Oh, come on. Temperature always drops. I've read all about it. Drops before a... a manifestation. Gets terribly cold. Oh, now I've heard everything. Don't talk so daft. Get over on your own side and give me half the blankets and go to sleep, you hear? I want no more daft talk from you. Suits me. And I'm blowing out the darn candle as well. <gasps> hey. Uh, Sally. Sally, it's back again. Sally. <gasps> Put your head out. I want to tell you something, please, Sally. Oh. Watch the door, my darling. <gasps> your, your dressing gown. Oh, the door. It's moving ever so slightly. Well, look, look as if there's something inside it. Yeah. Look at it now. It's beginning to fill out. As if there's, there's someone in it. Moonlight. It must be something to do with the moonlight. The sleeves. Look at the sleeves. They're arms now. Oh, up. Oh, oh, my dear. Jack. Oh, steady, Sal. Hold on. It oh. can't hurt us. It can't. It's, it's catching its neck in, in agony. There's a head coming. Oh, grief. Oh. Sally, do you see? It's a hanging man. Oh. 
On the door. Oh, well, don't look anymore. Turn away, Sally. I can't. It's struggling. It's horrible. What do we do? It's a hallucination, a nightmare. Don't look. Oh, still. The struggle's over. Poor devil. The moon's moved over. See? Look, the head, it, it faded. It's all gone now. Whatever it was, it's finished. What do we do? What can we do? I'm not staying in this room. I'm, I'm going to get dressed and I'm going down to the car. Sally, just stop to think. Could you go near that door? Could you touch it? It's the only way out of this room. What do we do? Have you noticed it? It's not cold anymore. Proves it's all over. How do you know? Somehow you've got to wake the landlord, Jack. He's got to get us out of here. We'll still have to pass through that doorway in the dark, Sally. I'd rather do that than stay up here. Let's brave it together, Jack. All right. We'd better get dressed first, though. Oh. There might still be folks around. All right. And I'm telling you one thing. I'm not touching that dressing out of oh, mine. No. They can keep it. Where's my jersey? Well, that'll be it on top of your cape. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Uh. Oh, that's better. Well... You all right now? Really? Yes. <clears throat> well, I suppose I'd better unlock the door then. Yes. I'll take the cases. You carry the candle. Right. Now for it. There you are, you see. Nothing to it. Open it. Wide. Oh. Well, come on then. Out with you. Oh. Quick. And watch your step on the ladder. Sorry you had a bit of a fright, sir. Mrs. Martin made Bit of a fright? It was a hair-raising experience. I'll never forget this as long as I live. That's for my poor wife. Look, I've said I'm very sorry, sir. We stopped using that loft years ago for this very reason. Certain times of the year it happens. We've never been able to pinpoint when exactly. Huh? You were desperate for somewhere for the night, and I took a chance on it. Well, you know, honeymoon couple. I didn't like to turn you away in that storm. Yeah, I know. And what was it, Mr. Martin? What happened? That hanging man, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, he was a footpad, highwayman, back in 17-something or other, I don't know. Oh. He used to hold up coaches and rob the passengers. Regular bad sort he was. Well, one of the serving maids from this here in, yeah, it's the same one. It hasn't changed much in all the years. She and him, well, they fell in love. They used to hide together at nights up in that loft. Oh. Well, someone found out. Next thing they knew, the law was waiting for him one moonlit night. They hanged him on the spot. Oh, on the back of the door? Yeah, that's right. That's oh. horrible. And, and the picking and clawing that goes on? Well, folks reckon that it's her, the oh. serving wench, desperately trying to loosen the noose from around his neck. Oh. Just clawing at that hempen rope. Oh, terrible. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it's strange how this sort of thing happens. The supernatural. There's no explaining it. Uh, as you say, never lad. Seems believe it's true. Well, we'll go back there one day. One day. Yeah. Where did you say this place was? <laughs> Interested, are you? <laughs> yeah. Grace is not a squeamish girl. Always game for a bit of a thrill. We uh, we might drop in there just for the night. <laughs> Well, me and Sally, we're certainly not going to go back there after dark, I can tell you. And Neville, whatever you do, yeah? don't take young Grace. Suspense.